Okay, so today we are working on Jolene from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Today we are gonna be working on my Jolene drawing that you see right here. So we're gonna be focusing on her skin today and I'll be showing you the brushes that I use uh, for that part. But just a reminder, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like button and please hit that sub button if you guys can. It'll really help me out and I would appreciate that very much. Okay, and since you guys just did that, let's get started. Okay, so pretty much for this artwork, I pretty much already colored in most of her outline. I put her in like this uh, type of like lingerie type uh, outfit. Um, but we're gonna be focusing on just the skin today. So I'm gonna show you all the brushes that I use, but I mainly use a soft skin brush. And this is my color palette for my skin right here. So before we go anywhere, I separated already the parts of her skin. And now that we have them in different layers, let's put a layer on top of that and add a clipping mask above both of them. All right, so now that we do this, a clipping mask again only colors in what you want colored in on the bottom layer, if that makes sense. All right, so let's uh, let's focus on her body. So we'll take off the, the face right here. I'll remove the colors as well. And yeah, let's uh, let's go to my airbrush tool, soft airbrush. And we're gonna go a little darker. I usually like to go a little darker at first. And um, let's just keep going. So before anything, pick a light source. Make sure you know what direction the light is coming from. So for example, mine would be coming in from this way. So we're gonna go according to that light source. All right, let's get started. So like I said, since the light source is up here, we're gonna make the shadows uh, according to that light source. So the bottom of, arm, of her arm will be much darker than the top of her arm. So for me to do her whole body, I actually have to take this layer off. Uh, don't mind it. It's just, uh, it's part of the process. So we'll just keep that on right there. So in this part of the process, it doesn't really matter how messy it looks because it is still the first layer. You just want to put down the uh, essentials of the, of the shadowing right now. All right, so now you got your first layer down for the shadowing. Let's go a little darker and uh, just keep putting in some more. So since I'm not gonna go any darker than this skin tone right here, I'm gonna start uh, blending in the colors with my blend tool. It's a soft blend powder that I have here. And uh, yeah, we're just basically trying to mix all the colors together and make it look smooth. Um, so what you wanna do now is grab a lighter color and uh, go over the parts that you think needs to be highlighted upon. Okay, so I'm not gonna blend yet. I'm gonna go up one more, one more level here, or two more levels, two more levels, and then we will see what we go from there. But at this point, at the highlight stage, um, I usually like to go with this brush I got from Ergo VIP. It is called the Soft Skin Brush, so if you do ever get that pack, this is what it is. All right, now that you got that all set, uh, you put up your highlights, you put up your shadows. Um, the next thing to do is really try to make the skin look red. Because if you know skin, it is not just, just you know, skin tone. There needs to be a red portion to it because it's kind of translucent and we can see the blood and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't know the science behind it, but basically just try to put some red in it very lightly and uh, it'll look a lot better. Trust me. So the brush that I'll be using for that, um, I actually got this imported somewhere. It's called the Skin Painter Brush. I'm not sure where you get it, but when you do, if you do find it on Google, which pretty much you can find all these brushes on Google that I'm using, just go all the way down to the red. Make sure that the brush opacity is very low, um, basically like 10, 9%, because you don't want too much red showing, and this brush is very strong at that. So uh, yeah, adjust your size and opacity accordingly and start going in. So for example, I usually do more of the red on the darker spots. So if you can see the difference now, it does look like more skin-like. 
All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna be focusing on her face. Uh, after this, I think I'm gonna end the video there, and then we're gonna work on her hair and the rest of her attire, and possibly the background on the next video. For anime faces, you do really wanna keep it simple. You don't wanna overdo uh, the shadowing or the highlights here. Um, just put as little as you can, but make sure it looks correctly. So don't put too much, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now that we put some highlights in, let's make some, uh, put some red in there with the Skin Painter brush. Okay, I think I'm ready to move on from um, painting her face. Uh, let's go to her lips now. So what I like doing here is making a new layer on top of her skin layers and using the technical pen um, to lay down the base layer for the lips. Alright, so now once you made the lip base layer, uh, make another layer on top of it and put a clipping mask and then let's get to a darker pinkish color and go to our airbrush tool and start filling it in. Alright, so here I'm actually going to combine the layers and then I'm going to use the smooth brush tool to smooth out the outer side of it because I think the technical pen made it way too... Not rough, but it made it way too uh, sharp. So we're just gonna blend that in now. Awesome, so that looks great. Um, the thing about Jolene is though, I think she has green lipstick. So if you wanna change this green, this is what we're gonna do. Actually, let me fill in this out first. Uh, let's fill this in just on the bottom of her lip before I do that. Okay, so now I was, as I was saying, uh, pick your layer of the lips right here. Hit that adjustments tool, hue, saturation, and brightness, hit layer, and then go on hue and then adjust accordingly because I do believe she does have green lips. So let's see what color I like here. So the lips look amazing, the skin looks amazing, the face looks great. If anything, I'm gonna add some more highlights later on, but for what it is right now, it looks pretty great. So the next video is gonna be all about her hair, and we're gonna finish up some tattoos that she has, and I believe I have some gauntlets that I need to finish for her as well. And then of course, we're also gonna fill in um, her lingerie that she is wearing. So before you guys leave, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure that you press the like button, hit the sub if you haven't already, and leave a comment. Tell me how I'm doing. I really wanna get better at this type of stuff, so please. Tell me how I'm doing, guys. So other than that, you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.